Okay. That is working out pretty well so far for me. We did see that there was one more person in here for a second. I don't know if he's going to come back, though. Oh, there he is. What are you gonna do? You just kind of stare in here for a moment, it looks like. Yeah, he doesn't care. We did lose what I think was an amber vial on this guy's belt, which saddens me a bit, but not the biggest deal in the world. So I'm guessing what we need to do here is pull both of these levers within a certain amount of time. I think it's makeable with just myself, but it would be much easier if I just clone myself real quick here. Much, much easier. Alright. You pull. Go away. I pull. Aha! Looks like there is a coin in there. It'll be our first. Not a fan of the light that that's casting, but uh, not the biggest deal in the world. So we've got a secondary objective, which is plundering the strong room. We've got amber over here. Whether I'm going to need it uh, remains to be seen. Currently, I don't. I don't even think I care that there's a pile of bodies out here at the moment. I have a feeling that there's not going to be anyone coming through here that's going to matter. And even if they would, they would uh, only discover bodies and not really disrupt my mission. Is there anyone else in here besides you? I don't know. I need to stretch my legs, mate. Apparently he was about to stretch his legs, but uh, I decided that it wasn't time for him to take a break. Or perhaps I decided it was time for him to take a break, for good. Hello. Get into my pocket, my precious. What do we have going on here? entirely possible that there could be someone that comes through here, but I can't tell. Well, there's technically a window to go up to over there, and I saw hooks on the other side, and there's also that to jump to. Perhaps I can get a better vantage point on the situation from there. Yoo hoo, anyone up here? Uh, I can't even reach that. I don't think there's anyone here. I'm not sure if there's anything of any interest up here. But, I would definitely like to take a look. Yeah, there's no one up here at all. Is there anything worth being up here for? I don't see anything. Is this a safe? It's something. Huh? Okay. What is this? Something to press? 
Hmm. Some sort of puzzly thing. Interesting. Do I just press them both at the same time? Alright, you get over here. Press that and... Okay... Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. So is it always just, uh, four things? I think these are the same. There should be two over there. Yep. Two over there. And then one on either side. Okay, so... This is just basically a binary number here, which means that there's 16 possibilities for this. Um, and I guess I will try those 16 possibilities off camera and let you know which one it is. I'll just do a quick save before it, and that way we can just come right back here as if uh, nothing happened. We'll be right back. Okay, I believe I've got it. So first we're going to click this, and then we are going to go left. Then we go right. Right. And once more to the right. Aha! Alright, so, not the greatest haul in the world, but uh, I did figure out the puzzle. And that means that we have uh, two things of amber, we've got one health vial, um, and we've got a dagger over here. So we've got lots of stuff to replenish our supplies if we need them. I don't know that we will need them, but uh, it is available for our uh, perusal whenever we want it. Okay. So, at this point, I think I'm going to head back to where the storage area is. And I'm going to use over here as a way to get this guy's attention. It shouldn't be too difficult. I think he probably comes close enough. Just gotta wait for him for a bit. I don't know what's through that door. And it seems like some doors just open when you get close to them. So, I've gotta be careful not to trigger any of the guards to, uh, to go through things, apparently. Come on. Which one of you is gonna come in here? It might be that guy. Coming over here? I just want you to come say hello. Just for a second. Won't be long. I'm beginning to wonder if either of them are going to come through here. Hmm. Okay, maybe this isn't the best way to go about this after all. Neither of them seem to be coming over here. I was counting on one of them coming into this room at some point. But he's just not. Alright, forget it. This turns out to be a bad way of doing this. across the room instead. I can always make use of a throwing dagger if uh, at all necessary. Is 
So what do you do? You just kind of head out into the hall and look at everything. Because you're a little shit. And that guy just kind of walks around. It might actually be quite advantageous to use a throwing dagger here. Oh, now you're gonna go in there, you little shit! You gotta be kidding me. Whatever. So when he comes back out, is he going to loop around that way? Or is he gonna come over here? No, he's gonna loop around that way. <laughs> I love the insults in this game. <laughs> you piece of dirt. <laughs> uh, they're like muted insults, but at the same time, they're just perfect for the atmosphere. Much better than cursing all the time. They feel right at home with everything that's going on. There's another guy out there. <laughs> but considering we've never seen a guy in red garb before, this guy probably never moves. Hiding them on this balcony would be perfectly fine since these seem to be the only people that are moving around here. Looks like there's a couple of people over here. Now I'm pretty sure I remember this area over here. It's kind of weird the way they have it set up because uh, I'm thinking that this is where they uh, teach you about poisoning stuff if I recall correctly, and um, they want you to go into that room, even though the guys are like right there. It's really weird. Alright, so this just gives up where we were to open the storage room. I don't think there's any point in me unlocking that. probably is the other side for the storage room. Okay, so if I recall correctly, these two over here won't see you when you're walking around here. This is really weird. So, in some cases, the direct approach is not the best method for getting rid of guards. You and your clones can poison the guards' fruit baskets or water containers, eliminating them quietly. Although highly effective, the effect of the poison is not immediate. So, for whatever reason, they want you to go into this room, even though these two should definitely have seen me going in here. It's really weird. <laughs> One little poisonous spit. Come on, guys. Lunch is ready. Very, very strange way to go about teaching this. Uh, 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 <laughs> Come on. White car. Hey, someone there. Stop. It was round here. I'll oh, find shit. <laughs> I thought he was going to come and see me there. Well, his eyes got white. All right. So, yeah, for whatever reason, that's the way that they teach you about poison in this. 
I think I must have gotten a lot further in this level than I uh, expected because I didn't realize that this poison teaching part was this far in. I thought I hadn't got this far, but apparently I did because I do remember this part. That's cool. Still doesn't mean I am any more well versed in this level compared to the first one. So we've got a cleaner and we've got a guard up here. Uh, sounds like there's someone walking somewhere. That guard being there means I don't want to be up there. That just doesn't seem like a good way of entering the area. So we've got someone that's walking across. He looks like he's walking in this direction. Oh. Killing my vantage point here. Can I... Is this guy coming in here? No. No, he's not. How about you? Also not. Can't see around to see if... I have a chance to take out this cleaner. Okay, they're just going. <laughs> Looks like one of them stares out over the stairs. Just go in here for now. And then eventually they come all the way around over here. So they do give me what seems to be enough time to take out the guard on the midsection there. He hasn't moved at all. Should be pretty simple to take out once they go further round here. You know what? I think I like being on this side a little bit better. Better vantage point. Give it just a second and go. Oh, there's a third guy. Okay. Did not notice him last time. So the third guy is the one that's looking out over this area. It is not either of the patrolmen here. I don't know if those patrolmen get far enough away from each other that I would be capable of taking one of them out without the other one noticing. I think we're going to have to do a little test on that. And I think I should be safe right here. This could be a very, very unwise decision to make, but we will find out. I can't wait till they change guard. Nice. 